Okay. Hey, what's up? Hey. Did you guys meet? No, Nate. Hi. Hey. Jessica. Jessica. Okay, listen up. So, it's like my first week on the job, and I'm at gate duty, right? What's that? If a kid wants to leave legally, we can't stop them, so we put someone at the gate to try and talk them out of it. Oh, you got here quick. Yes, I did. Good morning. Hi. Nate, this is Grace. She's your new boss. Bro. Oh. Hey. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I would lose a tie if I were you. And if you're listening to a story of Masons, understand that there's very little reality in it. <laughs> hey, don't piss in the water before we put our toes in. Night shift was pretty mellow. OK, so Grace, my wonderful new boss at the time, she leaves me at my gate duty for, like, three hours without a bathroom break, and I'm dying because I ate the tacos that they serve here, and she failed to tell me that they're a known laxative. So this kid, 16 years old, this big fucking intimidating dude. He's like a foot taller than me. He walks up and he just cruises out the gate. It's my second day, so I don't know what the hell is going on, but Grace, she's standing right there and she just lets it happen. Whatever, what I saw was Mason just sitting there and Wesley smiling at me from the opposite side of the gate because he knows that we can't touch him. Why not? Once they're a foot outside the gate, we can't touch him. So Grace tells me to follow him, so I do for hours, just walking eight feet behind him. Eventually he gets on this bus, so I get on the bus too. And at this point, I can't think of anything but whatever the hell these tacos are doing to my bowels. So I make up my mind, fuck this. I gotta get off at the next stop, or I'm gonna lose it in my shorts in front of all these people. And exactly as I make this decision, Wesley leans his big ass head over to me from across the aisle, and he says, really calm, I'm getting off at the next stop, and if you do too, I'm gonna rip your fucking balls off and feed them to you. Holy shit. Remember what I said. Hey, now, this part is true. I was there. Really? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. So, bus stops. He gets off. Wait a second. I go over to the door, but he's just standing there on the sidewalk, like 10 feet away, staring at me, waiting. What can I do? I have no other choice. So, I step off the bus. And the second my feet touch the ground, it is like a knot in my asshole, untied. And the fiesta in my stomach just comes pouring down my legs. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just standing there, shit gushing down my thighs, I ruined my fucking favorite Nikes. And Wesley's just there, doubled over, losing it. <laughs> he's fucking laughing so hard. I've never seen anything. Here we go, Nate. Wait, what? Come on, Nate. Go. Sammy! 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 Hey. Oh, my God. Let me go, you fucking fuck. All right. Okay. Uh, Can you grab his feet, please? I'm just going to sit down in the grass for a while until you de-escalate. De-escalate my asshole, you duck fuckers! I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. You know the thrill, Sammy. Just let it pass. You all right, buddy? Oh, got pretty far that time. I think it's a new record. So, anyway, after all that, he ends up coming back with me, but only because he's so excited to tell everyone in our unit that I pooped my pants. And he does. Tells everyone somehow. Even got back to my mom. <laughs> you heard that story, right, Sammy? Yeah. How you guys doing over there? Fantastic. How you feeling, Sammy? You got it all out? You wanna go take a nap? All right, let's get you up. Up we go, bud. All right, I'll see you back at the office. Welcome to Short Term 12, man. All right. This guy's been eating his Wheaties in the morning. <laughs> Have you ever thought about the Olympics, Sammy? What guy? The, the big kid that made you poop your pants. Wesley. Yeah. He ran away again, and then two days later, someone found him dead in the bushes. What? That is the real ending to the story. I don't like that part. Should I come in with me? I'm gonna clear my head. That was a good first day, Nate. Thank you. See ya. Mm. Yeah, take it easy. All right. I'll see, see you tomorrow. You look a little dead. What did you do to them? I don't know. I farted when I was outside. Maybe some of it followed me in. <laughs> you shot yourself again? No, Luis, I did not shart. Thank you very much. And that happened one time, and you weren't even here yet, so it's still funny. Okay, are we done? 
I've heard that story like three times. But... Yeah, it's a good story. It is a good story. Okay, if no one has any non-poop-related announcements, I have one. As most of you are already aware, Marcus is turning 18 and will be leaving us. Can I have his room? We are going to be throwing him a little party next week. Marcus, any requests? Can I shave my head? I was talking about food for the party. No, I don't, I don't want food. I want to shave my head. Okay. As long as I hold the razor. Cool. Okay, everyone else, thoughts? Food for Marcus's party. What are we gonna do? Okay, okay, everyone, one at a time, please. Luis, thank you for raising your hand. Who's the weird guy over there? Oh, that is Nate. Please do not be jerks to him. It is his first day. Do you wanna introduce yourself? Um, sure. Great. Yeah, hey, uh, as you know, my name's Nate, and uh, I just, I took a year off of school because, you know, I just wanted to get some life experience, and I always wanted to work with underprivileged kids. Hey, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Marcus, settle down. No, I want to know what you mean by that, underprivileged. It's not what I meant. Then think about your fucking words before you speak, Hey. newbie. That's a level drop. Go to your room. Go to your room. Sorry, man. Sorry. Um, levels and feelings, you know the drill. Start. <laughs> Big booty number nine. Oh! oh my God. She works here. Oh, she should be embarrassed. I am embarrassed. <laughs> it's okay. It happens. Let's go for another round. Ready? Oh. It's down a little bit. Y'all, yeah. y'all ain't got no rhythm, man. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'm trying to keep them in line. It's just it's so hard. <laughs> Maze, I love you like a brother, but I gotta say that when it come to being discreet, you're a disgrace. I mean, he think we all don't know about him and Grace on the low, undercover, trying to date. <laughs> uh, I'm at the gate, right? My name is Nate. When I came here, y'all tried to play a hate. <laughs> Jaden, come on. You know you can't keep the door closed. Stop pushing on the door. Hey, hey, Jade, I'm really sorry about your dad. Why can't you close the door? She's a cutter. I can fucking hear you, dick. Maybe I'll just cut myself right now and you all lose your fucking job. Come on, Jade. Don't fucking call me Jade, you bitch! Jaden, come on, please just open the door. If you just open the door, then we won't bother you anymore. If you're not gonna open the door, then we're gonna have to force it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get the fuck out of my way! Fucking get it right off. All right, I get the wall. All right, easy, easy. One, two, three, go. Fuck yeah! We sit down. Sorry, how's uh, Let me go! You shouldn't be here, Grace. What's wrong, Mason? Can't hold my feet yourself, you weak ass fuck? You need the bitch to do it for you? Hold her good, Nate. Yeah, hold me good, Nate. Oh. Uh, Sorry, man. It's gonna be okay, Jaden. It's gonna be okay. I hate you. Like me right now. Just let it pass. 
How are we doing, Nate? Not so good. We're doing good. <laughs> You're doing really good. Because she's in the cool down room now. I need that. Everybody grab one. Come on. It's so fucking unbelievable. It's gonna seem fake, but I promise you, it's not Grace Vashford. It depends if you tell it right. There's no way not to tell this right. It is a storyteller's wet dream. What? Right. Get ready for okay, this. Okay, just in time. I'm gonna start at the beginning, okay? Okay. So, three years ago, right, we have this girl here named Liza Green. She's 17, older than everybody else on the unit at the time. And I don't mean this in a pervy way or anything, but she's real pretty. Mm -hmm. She was gorgeous. All the guys on the unit want her, but she won't give any of them the time of the day because she was busy. She was always studying. She was very smart. Mm -hmm. Really smart. Mm -hmm. So two weeks before she turns 18 and leaves, we get this new intake. This 15-year-old guy. He's really tough. He's really quiet, but he's cool. He's just kind of like kicking back, checking out the scene. And I swear, I didn't hear him say a word the whole first week he was here. But then one day, we were doing a community meeting, and we asked for announcements, and this guy raises his hand and he looks directly at Liza Green, and he says, I know you don't know me, I just got here, but I just wanna say that I've been watching you. I think you're the most interesting thing about this place, and I'm really sad I'm not gonna get to know you before you leave. I just wanted to tell you that. What a pimp. What'd she say? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> It got so fucking awkward, I couldn't stand so it. Awkward. And then she left, never talked to him. The kids teased him for like a year about oh. it. Ah, uh, that blows. No, he didn't give a shit. No, didn't even face him. It was like, he knew something, everybody else didn't. Who is this guy? That was Marcus. What? I never heard this story. Oh, wait, it gets so much better. Yeah, yeah, so check this out. Grace and I are getting coffee at Ronnie's this morning, and we walk in, and who do we see sitting there alone at a table? Marcus. How's he doing? Oh, He looks great. He's so good. Button up shirt, he's <laughs> sipping on a cappuccino. <laughs> Marcus drinks cappuccino. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah, I Apparently guess so, now right? He does. So we're talking to him and we're catching up and he's telling us about his new job at the aquarium and how much he takes home in tips and how he's gonna start applying for classes oh next my semester. God. Yeah. And it's weird, because I'm like, I have not heard Marcus talk this much ever since I met him. Like, <laughs> what is the deal? Is he excited to see us? Is he nervous about something? And that's when I notice there's another cappuccino on the table and an empty chair next to him. Mm -hmm. And then just like in the fucking movies, bathroom door flings open, out walks Liza Green. They were on a date? It was like their fifth one. Yeah. Okay. And as soon, oh! as soon as soon as she sits down, dude just goes beat red. Oh. So embarrassed. Oh, <laughs> so cute. 
Oh, it was so fucking cute. Oh I almost God. pissed my Jess. pants. Oh, Jess, they look so happy together. So happy. And there she is. Here we go.